Hello everybody, this is Sonia. <laughs> Not the hands today, this is actually me. Okay. I thought I'd do this and I'd talk to you face to face. <laughs> um, no teeth and hardly any hair and all that sort of thing. A few chins and whatever. Um, now this is a very serious thing, you know. Very serious. I've made two videos in the past two few days and I haven't been able to put them up because you know I just I just couldn't do it properly and I hope I can do it properly today. Um, I have the fan behind me and a bit of stuff piled on me on board so please don't worry about that. Now, am I still going to be here next year? I don't know. Uh, all our YouTube channels are being scrutinised, I suppose you might say. It started because I really want you to look, watch this and then please watch a couple of the videos that I put up down the bottom. Because we all need to do this, because if we don't, oh, just look at this, isn't this lovely? <laughs> Sorry. Um, YouTube was doing some naughty things and got into trouble from the FTC, which is the Federal Trades Commission, and COPPA, which is the Children Online Privacy Protection Act. That's what that stands for because they bought in a rule that you weren't allowed to have m earn money from ads with the child content in the videos and that's fair enough you know, I, don't, I don't disagree with that whatsoever oh well it just depends what sort of ads they were you know like whether they were suitable for children or not okay now I better start this time because if I arrive on here for too long this is not going to work for me and then I'm not going to be very happy because um, it's not working either, still this thing, yeah, it's working, yeah, okay. Okay, so, um, I've been on here for six years. This has been my life for six years. Because I am a disabled person and can't get around very good and I wanted to do something with what I knew. Actually, it wasn't too bad when I started it. Um, you know, things would get bad, worse over the years, you know, I probably still had hair and teeth then, too, so... But anyway, um, this is serious, so I've got to try and not be silly. Um, I don't want to say that I've got anything against people protecting the children. Of course you have to do that. I do appreciate that they do these sort of things. But what they've done is they've word, word, worded it so we, as crafters and creators, all the people on here, have got no idea what exactly it is a, a saying sort of thing about what attracts children okay so I have these options I've got to go onto my videos as it is and I've got to put on there whether they're suitable for children adults or uh, what was the other thing I'll just mark each one as I put them up right so I have made over 1,000 447 videos over six years. I have 9,000 subscribers. Having trouble with my lip there today. Look like it's swollen. <laughs> I'm in a bad way. Well, I haven't had any sleep. I can't stop worrying about this. I can't stop crying about this. I know people will think it's silly, but. Okay, so if I say that my videos are suitable for children which majority, well they're not, because I don't make them as for kids. You can put, they'll put up, i say that right, the, the ads will be child friendly, of course, that's okay, which would hardly get any compensation for that, any money, but I'm not, I don't care about the money, this is just something I'm saying because of the people that actually do make a living from YouTube. We won't have comments, we can't have any thumbs up thumbs down that doesn't you know and no notifications so you will never know when I put up a video um, and so therefore that's not gonna grow your channel I'm not gonna help you one bit at all because people are not even gonna know you did a video unless you go and look for it to find it you know and 
if you say that it's suitable for children and this I know first, first we'll go to that adult one right so you can say well they're only suitable for adults only okay so they put that you have that option so you do that but they have put these word, vaguely worded this that could be child attractive you know the kids could want to go and look at whatever this is so even on your thumbnail you know the little picture that comes up next to the video that you've done if there's a picture of a fairy or a pretty colour Santa Claus kids books kids to anything that we would be maybe working on I know you can change your thumbnail but you've got to be careful and the kid sees it and wants to watch it will see this algorithm that they've made now has decided that it's going to decide whether our videos are going to be um, suitable for children or not and if we say they're not and they see a, a, a fairy in the video like I've got fairies I've got dolls I've got all sorts of dolls I've got dotty dolls and paper dolls and doll shoes and doll clothes and all them things that I've made videos on so I could teach people how to do them things because that's what I wanted to do that's what I really wanted to do and I really enjoy doing that now so if they're adults only and they've got them things on there I'm going to be fined two, $42,000 for lying okay to try and cover me self you know what I mean that the kids could click on them in the video in the Anyway, if you don't know what I mean, I need this, uh, and it's, I've got to be written down here, Sonia, don't rant. <laughs> I, you know, if the kids see anything pretty on an adult-only one, and, what, and, the, and the algorithm thinks, oh, that's pretty, that'll attract the child, then my video, I get fined, or they just, or they just take my channel down. Heaps of people have taken their channel down already. Um... I just watched Gail Agostinelli, and she said hers, right? What she said about it, because she said the same things, more or less, but probably better than me. And she said she could take down the, the monetization, you know, that we get money for it. But on the 10th of next month, channels who are not monetized or don't earn much money are going to be taken down anyway. So you need to have the monetization, and you need to be making a bit of money, otherwise they're supposedly going to go through them and take them down. So anything that comes up there, like a lot of people just make one or two videos, mostly young, you know, you can't really say, but some people don't bother coming back anymore, see? And it's the young ones that don't get interested, I suppose, that's what I was going to say. They, they probably don't want to just keep doing it all the time, so they just don't put any more up. I come on here and I made all these lovely friends. I've made all you lovely friends out there and you people mean the world to me. Plus I go and watch people's channels. I, I love watching other people's channels. I've got a lot of people that I, that I subscribe to. And they'll be gone. Or they'll go because they won't want to be fined. That's how much you get fined a video. You know, I was just sitting out there because I thought yesterday that I had lots of dogs doll ones on here, right? All different doll ideas. And then when the girls this morning, like Rachel and, and Gail said, Santa Claus. And I thought, oh dear. I've made angels. I've made um, Christmas decorations, you know. I made a tree with legs and little shoes on one time. I've made a lot of things that kids might find interesting. How am I going to, well, I'm going to have to, go through 1,500, nearly 500 videos and decide what they're... I'm going to have to shut my channel down. I know I was getting tired, but this is a bit drastic. There's nowhere else to go, because, you know, there is other platforms. Now, I'm going to show you my know here. There's other platforms out there, but they're not suitable for what we do. There's so many people, like people that do games and things, people that do Lego, their men are going to be penalised because of the wording. That's all we need to do, really, is to get the, the FTC to word it a bit better so it's not so vague. How can they write child, att 
child attractiveness. Kids are attracted to everything in the first instance. Then they probably don't want to have anything to do with it after then. You know what I mean? There's no, you know, the kids are very, you know, they'll probably turn on something and then halfway through it they'll go away anyway and not even bother watching because that's what they're like. And you can't get a kid's attention for that long unless it's, I don't know what they really like these days because mine have grown up, but still I know that I am going to say, like a few other people, is that the where are their parents? Why aren't they doing this too? What, why aren't they watching to make sure? I think there's a thing. I don't gamble, but I've heard that there's this thing that if you go onto a channel where you can gamble or whatever, you have to press some button to say that this is... Um, you're over 18 or you're over whatever and once you do that you're liable then for what you watch or what you do not the person that put it up there do you understand so please the government in America couldn't you do something like that couldn't you put something up there that stops the kids from looking at it because they're not old enough I suppose you could say then probably they'd say, oh, well, they couldn't read it. Well, they shouldn't be watching it anyway, should they, if they can't read it? Um, you know, what the rules are before they go onto the channel. If it's for adults only, there should be a thing there where they have to declare their age or whatever by saying under a certain, like under 18 maybe, or under 13 or whatever. That's 13 is the age limit sort of thing for the kids to be able to have their own YouTube channel. Kids love YouTube. They're watching it from when they're babies. And so they are watching the wrong things. Yes, I do, I know, uh, you know, that does happen. But the, the parents need to do this too, you know. We all need to do it. We all need to, to... I'll go through and I'll pick out mine because, you know what, this is going to kill me if I can't do this. And I'm not exaggerating. I've just... <laughs> I might be, but... This is what I do. You know, every day this is... Sometimes it drives me spare. I get, I get, um, I get, uh, you know, I get frustrated with it sometimes. Get upset with me mess. But what am I going to do if I can't talk to me people anymore? You me people, you me family. You've been with me for a lot of years. Have been with me since I come on here. I don't want this to turn off. I don't want to turn off my YouTube channel. Somebody else might do it. No, for me, they might turn off. Anyway, I wrote down how many videos I've got so I can tell if they're practicing now. They're going around taking people's videos down now to see how the algorithm thing works. They'll probably take this one now, I'm sure. <laughs> it's a shocking old lady. Nobody's going to want to watch this. It doesn't matter whether they're adults or children, are they? I know I'm trying to make light of this, but it isn't. It's, it's, it's a really 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 important thing you know for us people out here that have been doing this it's nothing to do with the money because i get in the six years i've been on here i might have got a thousand dollars if i was lucky i might have got a thousand dollars that's all i've made in six years and i can't understand i can't do that down to whatever it is a day or whatever it is an hour or whatever but it isn't very much you know that's that's i'm not on here for that I don't want to be taken down either because I don't earn enough money because that's an you know that's a thing that could happen to me as well. They could say, well, you're not making much, so you can go. You know. Sometimes I get twenty-five dollars a month. Sometimes I get fifty. Sometimes I get a hundred because it adds because they each they don't pay you till you make it to a hundred, right? So each month you don't get any money until you get to a hundred dollars. Okay. And I just feel sorry for the people that are doing this for their for their um, livelihood because that's really sad because if they're not doing anything wrong they shouldn't be penalised for this and the majority of them aren't doing anything wrong so what am I saying but nobody's doing anything wrong I make I'm all the stuff that I use is not child friendly and I, I think Rachel said kids are not Kids are not interested in what you're doing. My my daughters are adults, and they, I couldn't get their attention for very long. So here, try this because they're not going to want to do. The little ones, 
only for a little while. They just, they get just distracted by something else, and off they go. So if anybody's got any pictures of little animals or, um, like you know, there's ladies that do these journals with animals in them and the ones with the Disney pictures in them and all them things. Any of them people need to go and look at their thing and change it and see if it's child friendly and go to that because the algorithm doesn't understand like one person one person might think oh gee that's not that's not suitable for children but the next person might think it is so you could just get gone just like that they need to change the way they've got it written down don't take it off we're not wanting you to take it off we just want you to change it so we can understand more which criteria it goes into because there's 10 things I'm sure there's 10 things that they say is what how you how you tell if it's a child video or not you know if it's child friendly and that's a lot it's not <laughs> you know if they said to us oh well well fairies are children things I know and so therefore that's gonna have to go anything I did with most of the pictures that I clicked up are for children. I was going to start making a dollhouse on here the other day, actually. I even did the video. And then I had to take it off because I started getting upset. And same yesterday, I started to do a journal. I looked in the journal and there's pictures of... Um, where is it here? I looked at the journal and I was going through things here to put up, to put in it. And I don't know, look, this is... You can't see this, I'll show you in a minute. Hang on, I'll find out what I was looking at. I've seen these little, um, the kitten that I got in this book here. Look, there's a little kitten in there. And there's rabbits in that one. This is a journal I'm making. Kids will be attracted to that, don't you know? And it's not only because it's on the cover. It'll be in, um, I can't see this on this light's trying not. So I don't know, I've got another one here that I've taken out of my Etsy because I'm going to, well I was going to redo it and show you, but I've put things in this that are probably kids like this, well this little dragon for instance, I put him in there for just a bit of fun, but what if, I'll just show you him in a minute if I can find him. So this journal I'm going to put back in there because I wanted to change the cover because I don't think it was very, I didn't like the cover. So I took it out. I'm going to take the other ones too out of me at seeing, I think, because I, I don't know. I just, everything's just feeling really, really bad for me today. I'm just looking in this book. I'm sorry. I'm going to try and find this little dragon picture for you. I thought I could have showed you in the book too for a minute. If I can get the camera to move, I can't. That'd be typical. Usually it's waving all over the place. But I can't make it move today. But there's a little dragon in here. <laughs> there was a little dragon in here. He must have flew away. There, look. See? It's got a dragon in this this adult journal that I made. You know? So if that the algorithm comes across there and says, oh, well, that's a kid thing there, you can't have that up there now. Don't want your line. $42,000, please, Sonia. Or maybe go off to jail. I don't know. It's not funny. And I shouldn't be being sarcastic about it, but I'm, a, and I'm sorry about that, but I feel like I can't afford to go to jail. I can't afford to pay the thing either. So if I get fined, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to have to go. So I'd say by um, uh, I might take it down just before Christmas probably. That'll be really good, won't it? Because I can't unless I try to find something, you know, because even if it's not monetized, it's still it's still gonna have to be well, it won't have to be judged because if it's not monetized and I'm not earning enough money, they will take it down, okay? So people that are earning a lot of money, they won't take them down, but they, if, they're un if, they're, if they're not getting any money, they won't take them down. They still get to stay there, but they don't really, I don't think, because it's, it's to do with the... Now I'm getting myself confused. It's to do with the F FTC, the Federal Trades Commission, see? 
you got to make sure that you're not putting up anything still, whether it's ads or not. But I suppose if you've not got ads, it doesn't matter, does it? No. This is so confusing. It really is confusing. I'm going to put links to a couple of lawyers that actually talk about this so you'll understand better what it's about, okay? Right? So please, would you please just... So the petition is not a trick. It's nothing that's going to hurt anybody because you ain't going to be able to watch your people. Not only me. There's a lot of going to, going to go if, if we do the wrong thing, you know? Uh, accidentally even, if we do the wrong thing. A lot of them will go and then, and then you won't be able to watch YouTube. YouTube will be gone. Only things on YouTube will be things that people don't really want to watch because they're too scary and they'll be swearing and stuff in them. See, we don't swear. We don't have really bad videos. What we do, if the, ch if the child was attracted to the video, it wouldn't be anything that would hurt them. It's the ads that they think is bad. Okay. So they changed the ads so they were suitable for kids. You could earn a couple of dollars if you wanted to be worried about earning, but then you wouldn't have your comments. That's the thing that worries me. I, do, I want to be able to talk to the people. I've, I might not answer you as well, but I read them all, and I, and I, and I love them all because I put a heart, and I write to you, and, you know, I say something back occasionally because I couldn't answer them all. I'd be there all day. I really can't afford to do that. I'm sorry. I hope you don't... Um, let us down. I hope you help us because it's from you as well. Because you're the, the, the Federal Trades Commission wants to hear from the audience as well as from the people that make the videos, you know. So, can you just do that, please? It's not a trick. It's not a trick. I put a thing on Facebook and I don't think anybody shared it. And I don't understand that because a lot of you ladies are on Facebook with me. You don't have to be frightened, it is real. I know we don't like clicking on things that we don't know anything about, but if we don't, if we don't do that, we're not going to have YouTube anymore. Well, not the, to the way that it is now. Lot, all us people out here, we're not all us crafty ladies. We're not upsetting anybody. At first, we probably didn't think it was going to worry us because we think, well, we do crafting, you know. But then we realised the kids are interested in crafting, but we're not going to be able to communicate with one another. See, that's the that's the problem as far as majority of us want to do. We don't care about the money. We want to communicate with the people that watch us, okay? We want to communicate with yous, right? Um, I know it's to protect the children, but I want you to please, can you word it so it makes sense to us all and we can do it without losing our livelihood, like, <laughs> without having to pay all that money? Like... Like Gail said, couldn't you just put a thing on and say, well, this is child-friendly, fix it, you know? One one time. One time is all we'd need. And if we don't fix it, then you can find us, I suppose. She said three times, well... Because then, too, you, you've got to be able to get this message and go and fix that, don't you? Oh, I just can't... I can't craft anymore. I'm just stunned. I really am stunned. I'm just sitting here in this room thinking I want to do something so bad but I can't because I don't know what to do I don't know what to make I'm frightened it's gonna I can sew and all, all most of the pictures have got my hands in them so surely the kids aren't going to be interested in the thumbnails but then again I can well I can sew but not everybody wants to do that and I don't want to have to do that all the time either but I could I guess I can just turn it into a sewing channel as long as I don't make anything pretty or colourful because <laughs> that, that is actually in the thing colourful things and, you know, attractive things to children's eyes, mind you, which kids are, you know, attracted to everything. They'll grab, grab anything that's pretty or shiny, won't they? So how can they... They've got to rule that bit better. They've got to sort of change the wording in that, please, so we can... And this is going to be the weirdest video anybody's ever seen, I suppose. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I wanted just to, to see me before I go. If that's how it is. Um, I'm just upset. And I hope I can put this up because this is the third time I made it. Before I was halfway through making, doing work in my journal, like I said, and I had to stop because I thought, oh dear, this is this child friendly? Is this going to be one that's... I don't want to upset children, but I don't want to be 
I don't want to be penalised for accidentally showing something on here that the kids are not, you know, that the kids are going to look at. Or the algorithm is going to think that it's not friendly for children. That's, that's, the, that's the point. The algorithm is going to be the thing that's going to judge us. And if we haven't did it right, instead of letting us know, they're just going to find us or take us down. And this is really crappy, you know, because I, this is what I do. I shop so I can find things to do stuff with for YouTube. I go on here so I can see what's going on and what you are doing and I did say to somebody once what would happen if the internet went down it wasn't good because it could be just YouTube's gone people are just ruining the, ruining the world for everybody else these horrible people that do take advantage of children but you need to protect the children I do understand that please don't get me wrong I would not ever think that, that was not a good idea because it is but there must be a way you can stop them from from watching things that you don't think is suitable sort of I don't know I'm confused now I've got myself in the right state I hardly slept at all last night I kept waking up thinking I wonder if somebody's done something that I was out here first thing to see if somebody said something because I didn't want to put up a video until one of the other ladies on here said something about the crafting things. But I knew that it was going to be not good because a couple of other girls have been on here and saying, like, they do um, toy things where they go and, and test the toys and stuff like that to make sure that they're okay for kids, you know? I mean, what's wrong with that? The girl can't have any comments back on that. What's the point in that? And the man that does all the Lego... But he's good. But he said something about how if there's a um, a toy a toy robot is shown, and then another day he shows ones that's suitable for a thirty year old person or between between an eighteen and a thirty year old person to build, not a child. How's the algorithm going to say this is not suitable for children? And that is, they're all robots. So they won't be suitable for children. Well, they will be suitable for children. Oh dear, this is hard. And then he won't. He won't have any comments. He won't have any feedback. He won't have any notifications. Besides, it doesn't matter if your channel doesn't grow. I don't mind if my channel doesn't grow. I've got nine thousand subscribers and only got about three hundred people watching me. You know, out of that nine thousand subscribers. So I'm probably gone. I mean, they're going to take me off because I'm of no use whatsoever. But I've been on here for six years teaching people how to do stuff. I haven't been fiddling about. <laughs> you know? And we all do. We teach what we know. Majority of people on here teaching things what they know. How many people say, oh, what's uh, so, like, uh, how, many, how many cups of flour do you put in that? And they'll say, oh, Google it. You know, everybody goes to Google. That's another thing I forgot to mention. If you're on YouTube, Google owns that, right? And you use, you lose your Google email, right? My email is a Gmail thing, and that doesn't exist anymore. If you haven't got a YouTube channel, you can't have a Google email. So everything that I've got, <laughs> my Google email, I can't have my Google email either. People have digged into, dug into this really deep, but I don't think I've heard anybody say that yet. But my husband found that on there, that if you don't have a YouTube channel, you can't have a Google email. So what happens to that? Everything that I've got out there, to do, even to do with my, actually not my, my um, accounts, my accounts, I've got a big pond email for that. You know, like the bills that I have to pay, but only the phone bill. So it's only the phone bill, really. But still, it's not good. It's going to wreck... <laughs> Gonna wreck Christmas anyway. It's gonna wreck lots of things for people. Just change the wording, please. Please just do that for us. And then we'll follow the guidelines. The guidelines that we can understand. We need to do that. I will miss everybody. <laughs> I really will. There'll probably be a few people still left on here that 
that I can go and watch, but I don't think I'd be bothered, really, to be honest with you. I'd be really upset. I wouldn't be able to go on in and watch somebody else grab them. Too. I'm too mean. I'd feel sorry for myself too much, wouldn't I? And that's probably what I'm doing now, because I shouldn't... I feel like that. I feel like I'm being sorry for myself, and there's poor people out there got worse things to deal with than that. Anyway, I'm sorry if I've said anything wrong. I never meant to. I never meant to say anything wrong. My brain is mangled. I just want you to go and watch these things where people actually explain stuff to you properly and try to save us from getting our channels taken off or having to take it down ourselves. All that work. I've only got... I can probably say that I've only got about the last maybe 400 that I've done on two, on two laptops. They're still on there. But I could just start from the beginning again, I suppose, if I did to redo it. But I can't see how I'm going to. I don't know how I'm going to redo it. Anyway. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope it wasn't too scary for you. Okay? And I'll talk to you. Come and, come and friend me on Facebook if I disappear. <laughs> I think it's still, it's still be there. You might be able to say, G'day, I'll go, up, I'll go over there and put a couple of videos up occasionally, maybe, of what I've made, but I won't be teaching and stuff like that. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye.